Here we are in another podcast of yes, sir. A Day in Miami, Miami. Baba. Happy, happy Tuesday, guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Manny. Happy Tuesday, Kiko. Happy Tuesday, Tony Cow. Happy here Tuesday. is our guest today. Thank you, Tony, for being here. Bueno, great to be here. Again. 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 That's and, right. and, and we wanted and Tony. And we have Cow again. And we have Cow again. Oh, God. And we have Cow again. Don't look because you're empty. Yeah. But anyway, because we're already, we're already took care of it. And it's but, 305 day. And it's 305 that's day. That's why the look is here. I don't yeah. normally look like a... Uh, I don't know if that's a 305 look or a... It's a 305 a, look. Or that's this a, is what man used to look like. Oh, yeah. Ago. No, no. I can tell you that didn't happen. <laughs> or that could be a Gilligan's Island gone bad. Tony, t- Tony told me when you go dress up today, and Tony, what do you think? You look great, man. You look Pretty great. Good. You look great. Good. Happy 305. Oh, yeah. Flamingos for 305. We're, we're going to put you in front of the courtway with a sign, free there coffee you today. There you go. There you go. You know me, I'm a cow guy. Not, nonstop. Manny, well, go ahead. You no, 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 floor. brother. We want, we, listen, today's a special day. Apart from being 305 day, we wanted to bring Tony back because two things. One, on one I'm going to get into that in a little while, because yeah. of some good stuff. But the other one was is that we were so intrigued we were so intrigued with um, everything else when we did our, our, our other stuff with our podcast and everything else with, you know, we started seeing all these comments coming comments back. Comments came out. Comments coming out of left and right regarding the bakery. So, you know, I remember me calling you and Ed and I said, what the hell is this all about? Why are people so... The bakery mafias. Well, yeah. and that's and that's what you guys, you know, started telling me. What are you really? talking about, brother? Yeah. And I go, when you put what, what happened? How 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 can people be, be so pissed off about a pastelito? And mean. <laughs> yeah. And, and mean. mean. And know? so mean. And, you know, because I, I always say in Spanish, you know, para gusto se hicieron colores, no? You yeah. know, you, you pick and choose what you want. But I was so intrigued with the whole situation that we told our producers, I go, got to get him on. Listen, we got to get Tony back here because I want Tony to give me a tutorial. What's going on, Tony? Uh, what the hell goes on in these uh What have you done? Wars? What have you done, Tony? They're, they're, they're more, <laughs> the bakery fans are more fanatical and hostile than, than politics. As, we were as unaware. You know? I, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I thought Kiko grabbed somebody's, you know what, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, me and Tony are family, you know what I'm saying, Ben? Uh, and obviously I'm loyal to my brother, but uh, we kind of like uh, opened up a whole box of like sure. how loyal and and, and, and like, I mean, I never comment back, but people were like getting mad, insulting me, saying I'm crazy, I'm this, I'm that, and go here, go there. And well, I'm listen, like, you know, I, before Tony even said, my, my theory in life about this, say, bro, you don't like it? Okay, fine. Yeah. Go, go, go somewhere yeah. else. I mean, like yeah. I said, you don't want to watch our podcast? You don't have to. Right, right. Go look at another one. I, I have no issues with that. But I, I wanted to get Tony on here so we yeah. can directly bring in the. Absolutely. Leader, bring in the. That I'm just like we said. We're curious yes. of what what is it? What is it with the the people that get so? I think it's a culture. I think it's uh, they, they grow up on these places. They, yeah. they 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 got every birthday cake from these places. Yeah. You never. We have a hundred and something items. Maybe like almost two hundred items. You're never gonna be everybody's favorite in every item. You know. Right. Like, I like Ilacana de Ocroquetas. I like Ocroquetas too, but you you have places. I go to Versailles. We we eat all around town. You know. Of course. It's, it's part of the, we know all the owners of the different bakeries, so it's it's just part of the culture. But. People are very fanatical about it, and I understand yeah. why, you know. It's your, it's your, give it's your give people spot, some of the you know? background on how you started and how you are part of the bakery mob. Right, and, it's yeah. not that like you and just woke up one day and said, I'm doing cow. I think yeah. a lot of people see cow, and we're, a new, we're a new name on the scene, you know. Right. It's not something that you grew up on as a kid, you know. Right. So people are are hesitant to to embrace it sometimes, you know. Uh, some people, because we have a lot, obviously, we have a lot yeah. of our fan base. We have a lot of people following us. But um, I, I was born in the back of a bakery in, in Hialeah on 49th Street, uh, in front of Hialeah High, the, the second Vicky Bakery. That was my dad's. But I um, worked with the original GOAT, my grandfather. That Maybe I'm biased, but I think Vicky Bakery is one of the best names in, in the industry when, when yeah. we were growing up, you know? We grew Absolutely. up with that name. Uh, Absolutely. So I, I feel like I, I helped grow, grow that brand big time from eight family stores. It was two stores that were mine, two stores were my dad's, and my both dad's sisters and my uncles owned two stores. I helped take that from eight family locations to over 20 locations before I left. Nobody knows that. Nobody yeah. knows that. But in la gente this is this is a, that, don't go to Cal, go to Vicky. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't, they don't know? Yeah. yeah. Same, yeah. same recipes we've been using for the patelitos. Um, so Ila Carani is famous for the croquetas. I think yes. we were like famous growing up for our patelitos. We did them different than everybody else. We, we put the syrup on them. You know, everybody else would leave them a little more dry, a little more flaky, you know? A little more flaky. So we're known for that a little more moist pastry, you know, a little, a little more flour. Yeah. But um, and so everybody has their particular way of eating. Just about everybody. No, I don't yeah, like it like right. this. I don't like yeah. it like that. You're not gonna make everybody happy. Yeah. But um, and I'm not an owner that got into this as business. No, I, I started washing floors. I started making pastries. I mastered making pastries. I mastered bread. Then I went to desserts. That was a real passion of mine. 
um, making all the desserts. I switched to like the style of cakes and Vicky Baker at the time. I, I yeah, started modernizing them. Things, yeah. So definitely. And then as we came to Cow, it was it was um, it was a chance for me to go with my own vision. Uh, like I said, I bring Vicky Baker together. I formed the first commissary, so I kind of bring the family together to do what they're doing now. But I saw um, I had a lot more ambition. I was a young one. I was a young one. With my dad and my two uncles were Charlotte around the same age, Charlotte almost sixty. Um, and I, I had a lot more ambition. I wanted to open more stores, and at the time, they were reluctant to open more stores. How many stores were um, there? I had, I have 15 stores now at the moment. Oh, just opened in, in but, Tampa. But you know what? Not to interrupt Tony, but I, I like what you just said. That and you said because you 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 extended your your family's vision. Yeah, okay. Sure. So, and I think in in life, what people need to understand is that if you don't have an open mind to like extend what people are looking for now, you're, you're not going to be successful. You know what I'm saying? So you brought in lo que everybody loved, the pate, the this, the senorita, the desserts, the pan cubano, and you've opened up another. Definitely. We, you know, we hired Jeremiah Bullfrog at the time when we switched to Gao. We revamped all of our sandwiches. We created uh, our cilantro sauce from scratch, our sazon aioli sauce with the Goya sazon from scratch as well, um, the arroz con pollo bite. So we, we've... We've yeah. dabbled in making the bring bring what we like as as Cuban Americans. I'm a first generation Cuban American in my family yep. as well. Yeah. So we kind of bring those things that we like about Miami and kind of trying. And we're still not done yet. We still have a lot of things that we kind of want to bring to the table. That it's like that Cuban American vibe. So still growing, still out. growing. Even the pastelito with the Nutella is a new vibe. Well, I mean, and I love it. And I'll say it here again, <laughs> my kids' favorites. Yeah. yeah. Which is the the Nutella pastelito. But yeah. again. It's something that people need to understand. I mean, it's not like you just started, woke up tomorrow, I'm going to do cow. You come from this background. Yeah. You, you're, by a bakery runs in your blood. I'm, I'm an original OG. And destiny. That's it. It's destiny. It's destiny. And yeah. what you did was now is take it to another level in the fact of, you know, our generation, our kids' generation looking for other stuff like that. Nutella. You know, who was going to tell us, you know, when I was growing up, oh, a Nutella, I didn't even know about the Nutella. Sale, like, well, you know, what not? is that? Why not? You know, so then now you have the kids going over yeah. here and asking for, okay, no pastelito de guayaba, but I want a pastelito de Nutella. Yeah. Eso yeah. mismo, arroz con bollo bites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, those are, those are. And, and, and Tony, how's the response now that you open up Tampa? How is it up there? Um, very good. We, we opened up pretty quick. We opened up um, in December mm -hmm. and during Christmas, so it was a little crazy. But as we're getting known, we're doubling sales almost every week. Really? So we're just you know, they have a little Tampa there. Miami rivalry, right? With the Pancua, eh, the Pancua, the Cuban sandwich yeah. is from there, from here. So, so which one's a yeah. fan favorite, a Cuban sandwich? So hopefully, let's Over see what there? happens. But um, Maybe we show just them, yeah. Had Tampa, the Taste of Tampa this weekend. We won the People's Choice. Wow. So you see? Part of that. So I'm not. We're, we're making a, we're making a splash. Awesome, awesome, man. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. But listen, I just, I again, I, I. My biggest thing was when we spoke, and obviously off yeah. air, that we we're saying, what triggered all this bunch what of stuff? So I, I never gave Kiko a dollar. I never paid you this know, guy a dollar. Go, oh, I never paid him a dollar. That? You get that? You know. So at the end of the day, you look at the you look at this at this thing of people saying that sucks. This is not good. And listen, we welcome it bro, bro, because bro. you you you. Like, that's that social media. Off. Number one, if you yeah. can't get in, if you can't it's hack uh, social it's, media, it's, you're it's screwed. I grew up on H haters are gonna hate. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Haters are gonna hate. That's, that's, that's gonna happen. We're, but again, we're not, I never we're not knew. everybody's cup of tea, but we're a lot of people's cup of tea. We try. go over five There's just ways. There's just things of wording it. You know, like hey, I had a bad experience one day at Cal. I hope to go back and. Maybe have a better one. Not like yeah. it sucks or you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, but remember that a lot of people, a lot of people make a name for themselves yeah. uh, to go in and bash places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We spoke about that yeah, here last. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. We're not those type of people. I ain't got no time for that. Bro. Yeah, I, I can't go to a restaurant and say, this sucks. I, yeah. I, 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 it's just not in me. I just prefer not reviewing it or not saying anything. You I'm, know? I'm the same way. I'm the same <laughs> so way. Yeah. I just yeah, can't right. do that to a person. But at the same time, there's some people that make a name on themselves. Say you don't like I'm bashing. You can say you don't like it. Just, you, know, you don't have to use derogatory Correct. terms. Very simple. No, you don't have to use the word. You don't have to use the word. You don't have to use the word. You don't have to talk bad about you to pick up the girlfriend, you know? There you go. 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 Oh, man. And Tony also, he does a lot of, we do a lot of events together with, with Tony, uh, Tony and, and his wife, Yvette, which I read more, Tony's hard to get. He's the real boss. He's the yeah. real boss. Yvette is the one that answers the phone. Tony's busy all the time. But, um, well, you always have do... to separate powers. No, no, I'm just kidding. He knows that. Um, but uh, they do a lot of community stuff today, like 305 Day. You know, it's a big thing. Um, I do a lot of big events, and he's always sponsored me and, and helped me out. 
I think I even lost one of his tents one time in his van. Well, which we had to yeah. pay because uh, I'm all about the little well, again. I got it. was a brand new tent. It was a brand new tent. <laughs> I just Bro. picked it up that yeah. morning. Ever, ever that sizing, was still a cow tent. Ever sizing on the on the three hundred five day. Yeah. The other good thing was is that we could say here now that today you guys had a remote. Yes. Yep. Yes. Today was a remote. Radio you Bambi. guys were in with Radio Mambi and Coral Way. Yeah. And you guys teamed up with, of course, you know, my favorite organization, um, which is Aliyah Contra Cancer. And the great thing is that you guys were doing free certificates of mammograms. So, you know, I just mentioned this guy, big community, bro. You know, like on top of being good products, they're in the community helping out. We can't say that about everybody. We've always, since Vicky, we've always tried to be part of the community. We we used to do a lot of stuff with La Liga. Always, always. I can attest to that one. Um, Like I said, my wife is great. She's always been in charge of that stuff, and she's always been working with Kiko together, but we're always here to help. We're always part of the community. And what we mentioned earlier that we forgot to mention, La Ventanita. Ventanita. And what La Ventanita is to a bakery, what, like a social meeting point? Well, no, I, for office with that you know, Ventanita and Coral Gables? Uh, no, I, 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 I ran campaigns, but oh, I, I was never. But here's the good thing about it. Ventanita, is, go ahead, man. I could always say that in those Ventanitas, as the good idioma callejero cubano is said, yeah. se cortan los bacalao. For sure. Eh? Side a big deal. Side a big deal, Side se cortan deal, bacalao en la Ventanita. Yeah. You know, yeah. people resolve the world. Yeah. Having a, a, a coladita or a pastelito in the morning in, in, in the bakery. If at least in the in the Cuban world, todo se resuelve in a bakery. For sure. You're you standing know? up, everybody's always on the go, so it's quick. Everybody insults each other on this side before you leave, you go, <laughs> okay, bro, bueno, te quiero. See you tomorrow. And that's it. You know, you go to the next one. Tony, what's one thing you see in other bakeries that drives you crazy? Like you just can't like you don't have to mention any bakeries, but like you're like, Well, wow, like that's pretty bad or um, sometimes, let me think about this one because it's, it's, it's okay. You're not gonna mention. Well, but no, you're <laughs> not gonna mention. You're not gonna mention. We're, 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 we're on the same game. You never, you never, and I'm not a hater, so I'm not gonna hate. You know? No, but, no, no, no. But the way they do things, and you're but, not mention no bakery. Yeah. Like something like wow, that's really bad. It's not, Correct. Like, is there anything? No, no. What sticks out to my mind is cleanliness and serving. Some I was gonna say cleanliness and serving. Yeah. Sometimes not that. Yes. We have 200 employees. It's hard to. We're as good, only as good as your your weakest yeah. employee half of the time. So it's hard sometimes with the service. But I, it's sometimes you, you go to some of these places and it's it's pretty That's bad. You know? Well, the one that kills me is when I get to if I get some places. No, we ran out of a uh, Wayawa. Yeah. What are, you, oh. what are you talking about? Or if you're not oh. Cuban and you, and, you, and you come up and you're a tourist and you don't know how to how to work some of these places yeah. and you're not screaming in the counter like you're, you're gonna sit there for hours. You know? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's yeah. like if you don't know how to dabble yeah, yourself yeah, and yeah. Oye, precioso amigo, we, mi amor. Oh, you, you know, you got to yeah. do that. You got to do that little, yeah. that little, sh- that little spiel. I would, I would have to say empty bins. Empty oh, bins. Yeah. Well, that's really what I told you. Yeah. yeah. I'm not talking about like you close at six and it's 530. I'm talking right. like it's three in the afternoon. You still got three hours and there's nothing there. Like, oh, no, se to say that for me is like bakeries are no longer like seven to ten. Yeah. yeah. All day, especially midday snack, un cafecito, a little bite. For me, that's huge. You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh. That's why I always keep, even though he's my brother, I tell him, well, you know what, that one on uh, that store on that location, you know, yeah. it, I saw some stuff, it was empty, man, it, it, it was three hours left for you. We appreciate it, Chris. Like yes, I said, sir. you're only as strong as your employees, and you got to you gotta try and have eyes everywhere. But absolutely, absolutely. But not everybody has the same dedication. Definitely. Right. You know what I'm saying? So then at that point, but you, you touch on something I think is great, which is, going back to your point, bakeries originally were just bakery. Yeah, was yeah. a morning thing. No, and by two o'clock, no, we are not. No, we are not. So then, it's open at the that's open like midnight. But yeah. again, it's because of the vision that he wanted to do in the sense of For where sure. do you want to take cow now yeah. with the sandwiches, with this, yeah. with the uh, maybe where, the iced coffees, uh, Cuban, lo que sea, you know, that people I mean. now, you know, I, that's a big one I see now. I see like four yeah. people going four and five coladas and putting it inside. <laughs> ice yeah. and just having the whole damn go out oh, with man. ice. I'm like, what the hell? That's yeah. your version of the iced coffee. It's so important who you have on the floor too for his yeah. bakeries because it's it your product. Yeah, yeah man, Juan, they're not busting out or they don't care. It's a representation yeah. for you. Or the it's, cook is a, and the cooks the pastries. If he doesn't yeah. cook them perfect, you, you have so many locations. What fifteen? Like, oh, it's hard to like get everything going. So the systems help nowadays, but it's still not yeah. like being, yeah. being being there in every spot. Uh, you know? Yeah, people, you slip a little bit. They'll, they'll, they'll and thank God for the managers. We have a great management team. Yeah. You, you know a lot of the managers sure, we have. So I, I, I'm curious everything. about something else. So I know you, you know, eat, sleep, wake up, patel every day. Does he still? What it, which is your favorite patelito? Guayaba. Guayaba. Yeah. Okay. Since I was a kid, guayaba and a croqueta yeah. in one hand. Like, you know, it's like, 
I bought eat six empanadas, yeah. but I need that guayaba yeah. to finish. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, te tira, you know, queso. ese, ese I, queso crema with guayaba. I, I like the parties. Like, oh, queso, queso with guayaba is not bad, yeah. but the guayaba parties, when they come out the oven and the croquetica, the same. Yes. I'm like, I stack it's them together. Yeah, 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 I, like, I, I couldn't it. work there. Yeah. <laughs> I and just, he's talking, he's right, because the little ones, you can just pop them. Oh, yeah, I put them together with the croqueta, like a croqueta para parada in between two guayabas and... It's just awesome. That, that one, I, I mean, you know, everybody has their favorite. I mean, I'm a Guayaba guy, too. You know, I really, really, really like Cangrejito. Yeah. The jamón, I think, is 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 is, is yeah. spectacular. I, you know, I, I I think it's very good. But at the same time, I mean, that, your typical good Cuban, uh, Cuban, they say, una por la mañana, tu tostadita, café con leche. They have a bakery. With a, huh? like a bakery event where all the bakeries battle each other. Bueno, well, wh- why not? <laughs> why, I, I, I think, I think we should order. do it. Each owner stand there. No, you don't have time. Bobby Flay yeah, does. No, no, Bobby Flay. Owner's got to bake. Owner. It has to be owner against owner. I like no, it. Now what? Like now what? Listen. Listen. Comment below. You know right what I mean? <laughs> On a day in Miami, we could do that. We can find a little, we can a find bakery, a place. A bowl. A like, bakery bowl. Bro, I like it, Keith. Or, or bake a bakery event and have all the bakeries that can talk. Yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd bring it. And you know what? We'll have the bring audience it. be the judges. 100%. We, will ha- we can have the audience 100%. come and vote on who they're who the, the Food Network, live TV. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. And Bobby Flay does the, the challenges. I don't want to fire off all of them. No, all no, the bakeries no, 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 no. that I go to and I know, bro, bring it. Let's do it. I'm Let's sure all of them will say we're, we're, we're in. We'll do, do it. We'll do it right here in the game. Let's but we can do that. We can do your best pate de guayaba, which, by the way, también, I, I left this one. Pate best de carne. Tadito, best cafe con leche, bro. También, pate de carne is a I must. You go best pate, best dulce. Toe for toe. Then, yeah. Toe for toe. We can do a little category. Toe for toe. For toe. Oh, yeah, so it's be I, think, I think we should do that in the sense, again, and let the audience vote. And Aquí, we're not going to get, we're not gonna get judges. Gates open at 9, so it's like a yeah. morning thing. Yeah. No judges. The judges oh, will be no judges. People, people's, people's choice. People's, people's choice. One, people's one, choice. One category in a mouth. One That's category. That's is it. Is anybody writing that down? No, no. Yeah, yeah. No, he's already calling and trying to see where he can book <laughs> the place. You know what I'm saying? I see yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Any specials you got for 305 day? Or Free just, cafecito. I got day. these little beautiful glasses. Yeah, we got a bunch of... And I found to you, see how they fit. Better, we have to take out we got a bunch of gear. We got the glasses. We got the t-shirts. We got some stuff going right. on. A little swag. Huh? Most of them. We got a question from the crowd. Mo- oh, if I take... If I, if most I, importantly, if free I, cafecito all day. 305 day. What's the question oh, from the crowd? Good question. Good question. How many coladas are sold on a day in Miami? Uh, in Miami, I don't One know. Store and there are many in Corwin, yeah, do wait. Tony, I'd have, I'd have to, I, 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 I'd have to, I have to call in for that one. Let me text <laughs> in for ballpark, that. Ballpark, but a ballpark people for a bakery. I, I don't know. know. I would, I don't know because I, I actually looked up croqueta and patelitos right before I came over here. We sold okay, well, five, f- five thousand pa- uh, croquetas a day. We do ten thousand patelitos a day. You know, so that's okay. about two million croquetas. All stores. Oh, all stores. Okay, about right. two million croquetas yeah, a year. Yeah. Qué horror! Wow. About four million patelitos every time. You do all the time, so I'm part all of the that. girls always appreciate it when you yeah. come here. Keep yeah. Well, coffee, I'll say it's higher than that. So coffee, no coffee, coffee. has to be probably way about ten thousand coffees a day between the stores. You know, so thanks. Maybe to, I'll check it and I'll let you know. Oh yeah, thanks uh, to Cal. Fact. We can say thanks to Cal Bakery. A lot of businesses are running thanks to Cuban yeah. coffee oh, of course. because everybody, of course. Tamira, Needs wound to up. Oh, Saturday you'll be there. You got to pull a ticket. Which, by the way, I've been giving coffee to the kids in the morning because it's great for them. You know, instead of ADD, whatever, right? you give a little coffee, the and the and uh, all the psychologists say that a little bit of coffee in the morning Ugh. gives you concentration. Man, you giving Cuban coffee to his kids, gonna get yeah, hammered I in the know. comments. <laughs> what, what, are we, what are we giving to go to sleep? <laughs> We're well, used to it. I'm, go ahead. I, I'm immune to it. You mean, off a lot and go straight to sleep. No, no, I can. Yeah, my right. wife could. I can. I can. No, no, yeah, no, my no, dad no, too. No. I can. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't drink a coffee before coming here. Now I'll be. No, bro, I'm already a million miles an hour. I'm built for this, bro. I can digest rocks, but um. Came out. What else we got? No, no, we got. Well, we're we're bringing in some. We, we're getting some other questions. More from questions. The, we're getting some from other our producers from the from the producers. Which what is it? Franchising. Franchising. Oh, good what, what 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 is the yeah, what 15 is? Fifteen locations and you're franchising. Fifteen locations. We're franchising. Um, like I said, it's hard for me to be everywhere, and we want to keep spreading the love and the patelitos and the and the. So for the non haters. For the, the non-haters, non-haters that would love to, to come make some, can some money off Patelitos. Some, some, some good money. Some yeah. good money. Money, you know. Here we go. Uncle Manny. Here we go. Hashtag <laughs> Uncle Manny if you need cash. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Oye, tú Tony, you're going to show me how to run it perfect. Of course, of course. <laughs> so win-win, by the way. We hold your hand from day one. Hashtag Manny's cash. We design the places. We do it all, you know. No, no, it's a great formula. I have actually some of my friends uh, that have businesses that have been asking me, and, and we have some stuff planned in the future on, the, on just that because 
He's done it all. Yeah. And it's basically like a plug and play and do exactly how he tells you and it's successful. You don't got to be a baker. Got to be have a good business mind. Yeah, yeah, business yeah, yeah. And have the passion, right? I think it's important. Oh, got a good right? model. I want to, I wanna, before we end, I do want to say once again, listen, we do these podcasts because we do, we feel that we like to bring these things out to the community. For sure, absolutely. And at the end of the day, we know you guys out there, some of us, you know, are going to say, screw all of you. I don't need to see you. <laughs> Who are you to give a, 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 a critique How about a dare food you? or whatever? Listen, if you want to watch this, thank you. Thank you so much. We try and bring you people like Tony. Yeah. Tra success of Cuban American success of every type of industry. If you don't like it, don't watch us. If you want to be haters, we know you're going to say something, but listen, this is like we say in Spanish, un orgullo nuestro. Absolutely. This is Thank a you. success story. Absolutely. This is a guy that is taking his grandfather's and his parents and his whole family's dreams to another level. Blown it up. I feel that everybody should be happy. You don't like the pate de guayaba? Bye. Get in the car, Close move on. on to the next one, brother. Tony, much success, brother. Yes. And I cannot wait to go. We should just go and visit all the stores. We should do like a, a, cow, do it, a cow truck Already go visit we, all we the stores. We did a bus It was pretty cool. We did a bus and we went to a bunch we'll of do locations. A bus. We ended up at a party in the South Beach location. So much stuff. So much stuff coming. I love this Final. guy, the family, and thank you for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys thank you all the 305 people. We'll see you to the next one. Nah, I, I remember, you remember, remember hashtag Manny's Cash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you, good brother. percentage. Good Hashtag percentage. Manny's cash. Don't forget it. Thank you. <laughs>